You still mad? You ain't got no names. Carter's up. been going to his new school. How's that been going? Um, he got an F on his first test. Mm. So, he, so now he's got to find out what studying really is. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he Cause got because now it's like this ain't some stuff you could just do your homework and it then was, get by. It was like it was a quiz. It was like a small quiz. And it was like multiplication. I'm like, motherfucker, you failed a multiplication test? You know all, like you know all of them. He's like, ah, oh, dad, I ain't had no. He said, I ain't have no multiplication all summer. I'm like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this to me right now. All the other kids didn't have it either. I'm not trying to deal with like either you know or you don't. And then after that, he's he's settled in. He lied to me today because I can see all of his assignments on a computer. So I can go in and see. Log in. Log in. What he did, what he has to do. What he has to do and when it's due, the due date, which is dope how they do it. Like they tell him like, hey, yo, you got this worksheet, blah, 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 blah. Do this day. Do it two days. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get on there. And they probably go to class, go over the material. I see it. I see it. And then I call him. I'm like, hey, so how was school? School was good. Lunch, boom. We meet some new friends. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, you got any any homework? He said, no, I don't got no homework today. I was like, you don't got no homework. None. So if you show up tomorrow, you go to class. Nothing's due. Nothing. Now the homework's not due until Friday. Oh, all right. He has homework. Right, because when it's assigned, it's assigned. It's a, when it's assigned, it's assigned. That means you have the homework. You can't right, say you don't. But he's not lying. He is lying to say he doesn't have homework. He has homework. He got it today. In he his mind, homework. you're asking a question. You're asking is something due tomorrow? tomorrow. Okay, so I, in I, his I, mind. I you hear, just have to clarify no, no, what you mean no, no, by no, no, that. No, no, no. That's I hear all. what you said because I said, well, Carter, I looked and I saw that you have homework. Why did you lie to me? And he said, I don't know. If he'd have said what you said back, then that would have been different. Okay. He did not say well, that back. You scare him. He didn't say that back. So he might have got flustered. He don't know how to explain. Yeah, you could only hit no. a kid so many times. <laughs> he, don't, he don't get beat no more. Yeah, You hear that? No more. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, he don't get beat no He more. might be should've, too should've, flustered to really explain. Should have been called what his thinking was, but okay, so he, uh, you can see everything. Yeah, That's kind of dope. See, yeah, you can see all their all their grades and what they're doing. So he like failed his test, but he, after that, he settled in, and now he's he's getting the grades he needs to be getting. But that first one, I mean, he was he was going up there acting super weird, not sitting with nobody in class. I mean, at lunch and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, we didn't come here for you to be acting gangster. Like, weird. Like, oh, yeah, no, I'm just going to sit by myself doing lunch. Like, no. Go out there and meet some kids. Meet some new kids. I know these ain't your friends, but they eventually going to be your best friends. Right. These are eventually going to be your your peoples. You know what I'm saying? So he's uh, transitioning. I mean, How did you know that was happening? He told you that? What? That he was sitting by himself and stuff? No, nah, I asked him. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I need to know all this. Who'd you sit with at lunch? What'd you eat at lunch? But I can see what he eats at, I can see what he eats at lunch, though. Which is On the app? Know. That's just wild. Huh? Yeah, I'm like, and you can see if you got friends. No, nah, li- <laughs> <laughs> teacher said that he met one new friend today. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, progress. What they do? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it was like today, Carter bought a Gatorade, a pizza, and some fries. Like it shows you what they buy because you got to put money on their card for them to. Yeah. So it tells you what they be getting every day. What are parents hoping to get by sending their kids to white schools. from public schools to these private schools? Is it a private school or is it a what is it's it? A academy? School. What do you what it's is it called? I mean, it's, it's funded through the state and or and tuition, right? It's tuition. Tu- okay, tuition, and then they get probably grants from the state, yeah, whatever. It's, so it's yeah. a private it's not school. a public um, school. It's not funded through the state. Is this the program that Rock is paying for, or is it something totally different? No, it, it yeah, it's through Rock. It's some type of booster, something, some scholarship that he helped set up. There was some issues with I'm talking about Rock, Rocky Washington. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he been. He been funding this, working to get get on get on get on a lot more. Get on the board, but he's on the board. Yeah, he's 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 not funding this. He put (laughs) making it possible. He put things in motion. He happened to be friends with the president from uh, Swickley Academy. And he was Um, like, like, "How much bread are you getting off these kids?" He was her mentor. He was her mentor, and they weren't happy with the the diversity at the school, so they kind of set up a situation (laughs) where you mean they was about to get called out publicly on Black Twitter. Either way. Like yeah, they better get canceled. No, so, no, no. So I, anyway, think back, I think they're so far removed that he, nobody was even thinking about black people out there. Right. I think they were just so far like. There's so many more problems. There's so you, many. Yeah. They, we're not even worried about y'all. Yeah. So I think that's how back to the question, like, what, what, what do you feel like uh, yourself as a parent is trying to? What are you hoping to ac- accomplish by your son or your child going to a private school versus public school? I think 
my main thing is opportunity. You know what I mean? Because you can be successful anywhere you come from. I mean, it doesn't matter if you go to the worst school in PA to the, the absolute top school in the country. Right, but the stats and everything else. You can be, you can, you can be anybody from everywhere and make success. You can be successful in in, in anything, but the opportunities out there, the uh the, the teaching and everything they give you out there is just different. Than, they give you more opportunity. Yeah, they just it's just different you can than, be successful at Beer Falls, but not everybody's gonna get the same opportunities and they're gonna have people falling off. But what are those and opportunities? And there's, no, there's no net the there. opportunities are um smaller classrooms. Smaller, yeah, smaller classrooms. The curriculum, the curriculum is 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 a lot tougher, a lot tougher to where you it teaches you how to study and things like that. Carter was getting good grades and Beaver Falls and never had to do a, a damn thing out there. It's not like that they treat it like a college campus. You know what I mean? So you're getting it's that like going way, to state school. You're getting way more. You're getting way more one on one. Also, outside of that, they're they're resources. They're teaching kids differently. Spanish. Yeah, like my Carter. He, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's not different. I mean, he, he has Mandarin. What you what you say, uh, Brojo? You don't know shit Spanish, all right? Yeah, you don't know what that is. Brojo, I don't. Rojo, Rojo. Oh yeah, boat. <laughs> <laughs> Rojo doesn't mean row, row, row your uh, whole boat. <laughs> it's red. Oh, Rojo means red. All right. <laughs> 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 all right, no. so. You're, you're, you're saying that uh, these private schools are going to provide, they're going to train you more they're for to train you more the next for level of college or for life? Just prepping you. I think, I would say academic. Academic, yeah. yeah. I think academic-wise, they, they, they prep you for that situation, which is something that... A lot of kids don't know they have that kids, option. Yeah, yeah. Like So me, I, I wasn't prepped and ready for it. I got good grades all through high school got to school and had no idea how to be able to finish school and finish school on a certain kind of level. That killed me. You know what I mean? Like that killed everything that I wanted to do in there because I was so clueless on how to be able to study and, and be ready for it. Last episode, you said what killed you was partying, not the well, curriculum. No, I mean, partying, but what, the, what if you knew, what if you knew how to prep himself? Like, Oh, listen, I can't do this. Cause I'm going to have to, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So party, you feel you feel like if you were prepared for the if grades, he was smarter, the he, partying he, wouldn't have held you back. I I one thousand percent don't think that. Uh, yeah, I'd I'd have been at classes, I'd have been able to know how to study because <laughs> literally, like like I said, the second semester, my GPA was a, a three a three one two my second semester but you, because but, I was studying with someone and they were teaching me how to study. So it changed. And, and I didn't it, really stop partying. And you said there was uh, when you went there. And he was like, oh, shit, what's going on? They was like, man, we learned this in high school already. He was eighth, like, grade. For eighth grade. That's what they said, eighth yeah. grade. So he's getting that. He's getting that full access now. And it's 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 a lot different. Boy, if you don't, when you graduate, if you don't work out. It's a lot different when you graduate. Summa cum laude. From Swickley with a 3-0 than graduating from Beaver Falls with a 3-0. Is it? Yeah. It's a, it's totally different. It's two different things. It's it's like it's like literally you could say this like if you if you had a uh, hundred tackles for Geneva or a hundred tackles for Alabama, which one looks better? Okay. Damn. I mean, first off, I would look into it's going to, it's going to look, academy. It's, going to look it's just better. an academy that sounds good, or if it actually is good. You know what I mean? Well, they're ranked. They're ranked like one of that's the, what I was saying. Top, What's yeah, the rankings? Their ranking is like the the number. Top ten school in Pennsylvania and one of the top one hundred schools in all the country. Get the fuck out of here! I don't believe it's that. something like that. Yeah, get the something fuck out of here. See, I, 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 I feel like uh, you know the social benefits sounds like a, a benefit, but I just don't see social that. Benefits. Yeah, like well, he can uh, have more white friends. Just meeting people who are connected. To, oh, for sure. To different avenues, it's like Sidney Crosby's kids go there and all that. So stuff he's like you know networking. St yes. Yeah. For and, sure. and, and being exposed to different His things. Kids can't skate. But I just don't see the uh, the I feel like all the stuff that you're naming, we could learn ourselves and still send our kids to public school. You know, like teaching them how to study, teaching them how to be prepared, teaching them how to be. Yeah, but they're also going to be taking like their they're, they're, like curriculum is not going to be. Happen. They're, they're not going to have the same. Curriculum. Oh no, 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 no! I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it needs to happen. It does, but it definitely takes a lot of the burden off the parent if the school can provide it. Right, so I don't have to get, school. I don't. I don't want to have to keep, pick my son up and take him down to the library so if he you can, can get yeah, better if books. You can, if I'm you, just trying to see if it's really worth it to go from public to private. I'm I mean, not saying you made a bad decision. I'm like, do parents really need to do this for their kids to succeed? No, no, we no, just said that. We started off with that. 
Yeah, no, I don't think you need to do it to, to succeed, but if you have the money to be able to do it. Or you have the access. And you have the access to be able to do it, then I think it takes a huge burden off of you having to do it yourself at the house. Right, like we, we, could all, we could all get the entry-level job at that same company, but we all might not be, you know what I'm saying, qualified, might, might have an extra qualification, might have an extra certification, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I already know how to do that. Now you get that one little leg up. You know what I mean? And now you might, it, I don't care if it's a half a step or a step. If you got the ability to do it and help a kid out, you should do it. I wonder what it'll do. You'll learn whenever me, kids me, get older. Me, I think it's, me, I think it's, I, I can, <clears throat> I can teach Carter the ways of, you know, being able to study and being prepared on the next level. To, can you? Like, not, I, know, I know you know about them. Not professionally that's like what I'm that. saying. They got, they're, like, per, they're professionals at what they do. They can show him the exact way. You should know how to, you should go I, about this. I have an idea of what you need to do. To, oh, you need you know, to be reading it. every single day. Exactly. Like, I can, do some country shit. Like, exactly. my dad was I like, hey, you should, you should be reading a paragraph. Hey, yo, get, every, get, get that highlighter and uh, yeah. start marking it. You know what I'm saying? Learn yeah. a new word in the dictionary every day. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm, these, are, these are professionals that know exactly what it takes to be successful. And they're sending all these kids to these different Ivy League schools and majority, Ivy Leagues. Majority of the kids. I thought this didn't even go to high school. Like you go, this goes from you go no. from here back to public school. No. This 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 graduates you. Yeah. To twelfth grade. Yes. Oh goddamn! I thought this kid was only gonna be in there for two years and come right back to the Jacks. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I mean, like I, like I told him, it's a situation where we can go there for a year, or we can go there for six. I mean, it just all depends on. How does it work? If it fits us good, like if it's best for us, if it's not best for us, I told him it's a trial period. We go through it. If we like it, we stay. If we don't like it, we go back home. And that's how. That's how. Yeah, but it, I would tell him, us liking it and not liking it is not up to you. You like it, all right. This is what you do. Yeah, yeah. You like it. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because we you, like you, it. You don't have no choice. Like really, like yeah. He, I don't he, think I like this. I want to go back to my old school. No, 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 no. That's not. That's what. <laughs> well, possible. I mean, because they don't have a football program, and it sounds kind of crazy. To not again to not have access. your kid to not have your kid go to a prestigious school like Swickley to send him back to a school that's education is ranked two out of ten in PA because of football. But two, if two, two out of ten don't sound bad to me. Two yes. out of ten and every sounds terrible. Two out, Are you talking about two, two out of ten like stars. Yeah, two out of ten. Oh, I thought you meant like there was only ten schools and they was number two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or, like two out of ten. or, or they was number eight. No, like, all right, no, I'll like take number eight. Out of 10. <laughs> 10 being good curriculum. I think Blackhawk is ranked. I think Blackhawk is ranked eighth. Beavers ranked nine. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Access. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, that's dope, though. So now I know where this taxes is going. And then, you know, Beaver Man, Falls. Well, is then that. we should do this then. Beaver Falls is that too. Stop paying the uh, Swickley Academy. Use my address. Send them to Blackhawk. We need help at football. I, I, I seen them play. Yeah, I could never, man. They do too many uh, drugs out there. They probably do the same drugs. Oh, my God. They yeah, got, yeah, I'm about to say, what you talking about? Oh, they going they, down out <laughs> swinging. He's on Adderall they got, they right got, now. They got, they got Carter's all, definitely, he's either going sniff or sell coke. He's they either got, going sniff or sell coke. He ain't going to sell. I'll uh, kill him. I told him. <laughs> you better. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, my. Uh, yeah. You, better my get rid, you better get rid of that. <laughs> you better get rid of that. my plug. But looking at his nose all crazy. I'll be pissed. <laughs> You better be giving Why it you away. Why you shit whistling? I'll, I'll, te I'll teach you the game. <laughs> I listen to I listen to enough rap. You know what I'm saying? I'll teach you the game. I just, I, I want to see like what is like the success rate of uh Go check the numbers, kids man, that have online. come from Swickley Academy to like grown now. Like what is that success rate? You I'll, know what I'll I mean? say this. I'll say this. They. They I wouldn't graduate. say the success rate. I don't care I about they they graduate, them getting to college. I don't graduate, care about none of that. They graduate ninety nine percent. From college, yeah, I don't care about that. I'm talking about success, like people that's the, that's, that's, that's that are people that are flourishing. If you're telling me that's that 80 percent of a, like you know like a, a large percentage of Harvard lawyers end up in Congress and like you know what I mean those are statistics I'm talking about like the success rate of yes. where they're at in life. Do you think these kids, not people that just graduated just, from college? No, and no, 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 I want them to go to the and best now college. Working at Pass Event. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. With that's me. not what no, I'm no, no, that's no, not. I'm not talking about that. You could have went think, to public school for all that. Yeah, well, that's just what happens. That's the these kids are putting these kids in Ivy League schools. You think these kids are going there for business degrees? It's not like how the kids from Beaver Falls and stuff like that that are you think graduating coming back to be cops or and going to school for radio or going to school for or going to school for radio and stuff like that. They're putting them in in schools that are going to benefit them later on down the road. Right. That, that's why I want to see the statistics. Is it really preparing mm. them for life? 
I want to I want to see statistics. I know I was drinking. I'm the only one drinking. I need to see what is that like. Is it really worth it? Like I don't care too much about. Here's my college. thing. You talk. The same. I don't care. Okay, then 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 I want to know then you're, life. Then go to public school. We're 35 now. Yeah. Where are the 35 no, year old no, people that went to Swickley Academy? Then don't. Then don't. Don't care about you talk about success. Then you're not going to Swickley Academy. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, you don't. Hey, you, like, you don't. You're, you're, you're talking about are they are they entrepreneurs? Are they flipping houses? I go to fuck all that. No, no, no. I need to put them in position. They need to have the opportunities so they can get to the best schools, so they can get the best education. And now, if they don't take advantage of that and then they're not successful, that goes to them. And what I mean is just an easier... I have to put them that's in That's all that matters. What all I mean that is, matters. That's what, what I'm saying. What I mean is just an easier position. It, it, it's, it's a definitely easier position. They have the stats. They have the rankings. They're ranked for a reason. That happens How for a reason. How successful they are in life is rankings, on them. Rankings come from SAT scores, from ACT scores, from the, the, the amount of kids that they send other places and stuff like that. that. That is where the rankings come from. That means something. Same thing about Alabama. You can go to the pros and be from Geneva, but if they see Geneva and they see Alabama, they're like, okay, well, he was successful here. He is probably going to project well for us here. Okay. And that's just literally how it goes. And you and you talking about- I'm not saying that. I'm not saying a guy from Geneva can't be that guy. Because he can be that guy and be the best even, player in the NFL. I don't even think that's where he's at with it, though. He's talking about the success like in life, right? It's like, bruh, you're talking about two different things at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about what matters. No, Okay, you, you're saying what, that's what matters, right? He's saying that's what matters. What matters no, is... No, no, say it again. Say that's what matters. Financial what, freedom is no, what matters. See, that's what I'm saying. You can give that's him what that. That's what I'm talking but what about. I'm saying, that's, nobody's talking about that, though. That's all I care about. If then I, keep you, then if, homeschool your kid. Yeah, I don't care. Then if, homeschool if, your kid. If my child We're down the road success. reaching financial, financial freedom is success. That's not what I'm saying, but... Bro, that's not the point. Okay, I'm okay. going to take a step back and listen. Okay, this is what he's saying. He has the access to all these things, and he's going to have better access to these colleges, right, mm -hmm. who have better access to these jobs. What they what they do, your kids, my kids, his kids, that gets to a point where that's on them. Now, you're saying, oh, I want to see, do they stick with it? We don't know if they will. We don't know if they don't, but they have they, they've got a pipeline to what you can do to be successful. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they have a pipeline. Everybody okay. else says, and their pipeline is bigger than public schools. Is what we're saying. Okay, I get that. So at the end, the, you're talking about the end result is success, right? Yeah. That's they have a bigger pipeline. Okay. That and doesn't I, necessarily mean that his kids are going to make it. And yeah, it doesn't or mean anybody's that. kids are going to make it. I, I I agree with that, but I, I'm I'm talking about like the aspect of like prepping them, like not even prepping, like encouraging, like the, is this like molding you to be more successful? You know what I'm saying? I know that the avenue's there. They're doing they're doing everything to make but sure. But like, them is kids. it prepping? Like, you know how in public school we have no idea. I had no idea what I was gonna do in college. Is, Nobody did. Is that private school like they should? Are they working on showing them what their purpose is so they can figure out how they, to be successful? They have. They you feel what I'm saying? The kids, they forced the kids. They asked Carter before school even started. What do you like? What's your interest? I like math. I like I, I like math. They said, okay, well. During the, we have a skill lab every single day to where we make all the kids go do something that they don't do. So you said math. We're going to put you in this computer class and we're going to make see see you uh, if you can excel in that programming. They're program. They're doing a whole bunch of different things. They they even have their classes at different times of the day. Like if you have math, like say if you have math at eight o'clock on Monday. Next time when you have it on Wednesday, you'll have it at two o'clock because you might be a morning person and that might affect you differently. So they're they're like switching all the classes around. That's the shit I like to hear. That's more. So they're like, you know, we can't have you. We can't have you have math at eight o'clock every single day in the morning because you might be you might be one of those kids that just don't get up and you're kind of groggy in the morning and your grade may suffer because of that. So we're going to put you in math. On Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then um, on Wednesday when you have it next time, you're going to have it at 11, and then we're going to switch all your classes around through the course of the day, through the course of the week, so you can get the best grades you can possibly get. That's No public school is doing nothing like that. Right. I feel that. And, and that's fire. And, and, but again, that's what I'm saying. Like, There's 10 kids of Beer Falls, right? They don't have the same access. They've all got the same drive. Might be three of them to make it through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is just going to be as successful as their opportunities they get. But they don't have as many opportunities because, like you said, who here knew what they wanted to do? I mean, going into college, we just, we just thought college was it, right? Yeah. Places like this prepare you for like, you know what? Like if it, if say his kid graduated top of that class, whatever, we'll say most, and he comes back and he's like uh, a cop here. I'm clowning him. I'm clowning him immediately. I mean, he could have dropped out in eighth grade and did that. 
All this, you know what I mean? But, they meet, they, but what I'm saying is, how he, many times he used to did be you meet with your guidance counselor? <laughs> Too many times. Twice. Just, it, it was just, always about yeah, football. Senior year a lot. Se no, it was always about football. And junior year a lot. They meet but, with their advisors every morning. See, that's that fire. sounds crazy. Every single morning they meet with their advisors. Hey, what you got going on? What you what are you planning on doing with this? Blah blah blah. Every day. That's every crazy. single day. See, that's Man, fuck football. That's the that that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like, because I feel like that is preparing you for a more successful life. I don't give right, a so damn about the pipeline. I care more about am I point am I helping you figure out how to find financial freedom but, but, in to, your own way. But to me, you that pi that saying? pipeline means like, okay, my pipeline is I'm good enough for this, so I have access to. I was just about to say, my schools. pipeline is access. That's what I'm saying. And it's then I can go just ahead. access. And then, then, when, then when I know, not only do I know, okay, I like numbers, I like this. Okay, well, this is an agricultural school, A and M, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, what I'm saying like an engineering school. I know where I need to go. I'm going to engineering. I'm not going to waste my time with a, with, a, with a canvas that can't provide for me. You know what I'm saying? Who knew that? Who knew it was like, oh, these these schools aren't good for law degrees I had or no business, idea. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I went like, to Geneva for biology. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, still don't know shit about a, frogs. Yeah, that's not a bi <laughs> that's not even a biology school, but I just went to Geneva for that. I didn't even know. That sounds hard, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I if you no, came out with biology, I'd be like, oh, he, he definitely I, smart. I had no idea that, oh, there's biology schools. There's like schools that are focused on or, this. Or geared and focused and you, on this. But you didn't know you're, this is what you're supposed to be into in no, the first place. I had no idea. Nobody does. I had no idea that's, that, that, that's what you were supposed to be doing. And now looking back on it, it's like, yo, if if, if I can, they're going to they're gonna put him in those situations that are going to be best for him or at least give him some type of idea of where he needs to be, uh, some type of guidance, you know what I mean, to push him in that right direction. Instead of coming home and be like, you better go to college. You can't be around here. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, though, I do feel like, at least college-wise, Ivy League, the level of thinking is totally different. Like, I was talking to Mark Lay the other day, and his level of thinking blew my mind because we were just talking about this whole recession nephew goes there. conference, right? Goes there swiftly. Okay, that's fire. And, but he was talking that's to fire. That's like Carter's he, best friend now. <clears throat> he was talking to me about taxes, right? Cause he's uh, he works with Steelers. He works with High Mark. He works with all these high level people helping them with uh, infrastructure, all this shit, right? And he was talking to me about the Trump opportunity zones. Y'all heard about the opportunity zones? I have no idea what you're talking about. Like Trump opportunities. So our age, Mark Lay. No, 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 big, no, big, big, Mark, big, big Mark, big Mark, the one yeah. that went to Feds. Um, he was talking about the Trump opportunity zones in places like Aliquippa's downtown, Beer Falls downtown, Midlands downtown, all over America. All these bad black neighborhoods. Oh, that'll give you they'll give you the money for you, it. And then you, you could and then you could If yeah. you invest in these areas, you get tax incentives. He was talking to me about how like poor people think rich people don't have to pay taxes because they're rich. But rich people understand how the to avoid. the government will put out these programs that they want people to invest in, and the rich people go invest there, that's where they get their tax breaks. Yeah. Like, like grants, he, funds. He like, says, so I'm working with a lot of these billionaires, helping them find these opportunities in these opportunity zones because of Trump so that they can invest. So say if they owe $2 million in taxes. I can write these off by, helping, by investing in these. He's helping them invest in these opportunity zones so that they could get $2 million worth of tax breaks so they don't got to pay those $2 million worth of taxes. That level of thinking, just sitting there listening to him. Yeah. It's a whole other level. I'm glad, I'm glad so, you told us that. Now we could do it, right? If, 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 if we yeah, if, yeah, tell, tell, we, him to, tell him to give you an outline and tell him, like, listen, how can we, uh, I just had to yeah, pay $800 brain, yeah. in taxes. Yeah. I, what, I, can, I, what can I invest in with that $800 that I ain't got to pay? Yeah, but that, that, so if, if, if that's what that does, you know what I mean? That's dope. I'm just hope, I'm just hoping that that's what it does. You know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of times we'll make those kind of moves and hopes, uh, Oh man, it's better over here, but is it really? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, okay. And if so, as a parent, what do you really have to do? Is it just dropping him off there, or is there like an active no, no, role no, 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 no. that there's, the parent has to play? You know whole, no, I see what he's saying it, now. So that, that that makes more sense because it's like what did Lacey do? She saw a private school downtown, St. Monica's. She basically got, they gave her a grant. All small school, you know, class size, all these things. That he comes home with good grades, whatever. She got bamboozled. Cause now he's a he don't really know what the fuck he's doing yeah. whatever it's the same result sends the kid out to uh 
the Academy and Baden. uh, Baden Academy. And it's not the same. Baden's it's, not the same. It, it's not the same at all, but it sounds good. So they're just, because they cause they get people like her, they're doing minority that. kids, for, so they're for, just trying to get money. Name, for the name. For, for the look of it, you know what I'm saying? Look of it, right, right, She's right. not actually look, looking at the academia, you know what I'm saying, and what they're doing for the kid and what access, it just sounds good. Right. right. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of, that's what people around yeah, here do. They just start little schools so they can just get these grants and, and, and they want the money. This whole situation, I mean, you, you, you would be an idiot to let your kid go up there, you know, blind and not be there to help out consistently all the way through it. Like, I check Carter's stuff all the time. My whole life has changed. You know what I'm saying? His mom's whole life has changed from doing this. You know what I'm saying? We we got we can't just sit back and let things just happen out here. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole different kind of ball game. There's wait, there's homework every day. He has to be paying attention every day. He has projects that are due two weeks. You know what I mean? He got a project that's due. He gets a he syllabus. A These are what we're going to be weeks. doing. He ain't never had no project that was due in two weeks in Beaver Falls. You know what I mean? Like ever. You know what I mean? So this stuff like that, we have to stay up on and. Make sure we're doing that. So it's like, I mean, it's it's definitely life changing. And, for, and, and for at this all point, for like kids like that, they have to do all this work, whatever. Like, and they're helping you. But once you get those high school walls to fall, like that's basically what he's talking about. It's college. Like you get the syllabus, and then you just go to lectures, and the professor's lecturing on technically what you need to know. But he's not going like this chapter, this, this, whatever. He's just having the discussion about what you were supposed to read. Right. He's not going to do everything. So when you show up and they're like. Well, why didn't you notice, or why didn't you do this? You knew this was coming, because you have to. You're teaching yourself at that point. You know what I mean? So that should you know help him better. I mean, like I said, you know what I'm saying we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it works. See, if I see some, you know, progressing. I mean, if I see some progression, which I think I definitely will. I think it just naturally will happen. And um, if it does, we'll we'll ride it out. I think a lot of good, uh, a lot of good comes out of knowing the watchdogs as well. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like who's around it? Like. Yeah, those people that you could, like, as a coach, if the parents just came to you and said, yo, what can my son do to become, this year he's in termites, this is the last year termites, when he gets to Mighty Mice, to make sure he's no longer riding the pine, how can we work? You could give him a blueprint. Yeah. So figuring out, like, who is that there? The the the, the presidents, the the vice, okay. all of that, like, I, like, emails, first off, Swickley emails you 50 times a day. It's thorough. Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing this, and we got this going on, and we got this going on. If you guys can come up after school because we're going to, you know, cook out on the grill this day. I'm like, God damn, every goddamn day. they I mean. They over-communicate. That's oh, it's, the communication is it's annoying. But they need to do but, that but, because but, then that keeps them alive. You know what I'm saying? That keeps them funded. You know what I'm saying? That keeps people coming in like. You are your worth. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. They, if, if and they probably this, that know the village keep coming. The village, like you said, it takes a village. They probably no, understand that's what that. No, no, no. But they probably understand. Like, yo, if we keep everybody close knit and create the culture with the parents. Yeah. yeah Carter, that, Carter only got 40 kids in his grade. That sounds crazy. Mm. Hey. The entire grade, 40 Damn. kids. They could be. At, well, and we started off ninth grade with what 190, and we graduated. <laughs> we graduated with 90. 103. Damn. Imagine that. No, y'all's was worse. Y'all's was the worst. No, well, us was pretty bad. I feel like y'all was like well, no. 210, and then y'all graduated with like 80. 80. Yeah. Because like, I was like, yo, these fucking, like, where are these people going? They're just move, think, moving, dropping out. I think ours was 170-something. That's still crazy. It's still 170-something and down to 103. 